Hey everyone, how's it going? Empty here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add the Poke2 bot to your very own Discord server, how to get it set up, uh, and a few little tips and tricks along the way. So let's jump right into it. Okay, so the whole setup process is pretty easy, really simple. So this video shouldn't be too long, but the first thing you want to do is head on over to Poke2.net, and this is how you're going to get the bot to join your server. So you come here, then hit invite Poke2 here. So if you haven't before, it will ask you to log in with your credentials, so make sure you have your password ready. And then it will ask you which server you want to add the bot to. So just in case you have multiple servers, we're going to, so for this one, we're going to go ahead and do my test server. Hit continue. Go ahead and authorize all of this. And then confirm that you're not a robot. Unless you are, then you're kind of screwed. Okay, and from there, the bot has joined your server. All right, and as you can see, the bot has joined your server. So next, you want to get it set up correctly just the way you like it. So the main thing being, you probably want to get your Pokemon to spawn in a certain channel. So for this instance here, I wanted to go to this Pokemon channel. So you would type out P exclamation point redirect and then the channel name that you want to head to. So in this instance, I would do Pokemon. That's the channel I want them to go to. Then you throw that. So we throw that in here. Now, as you can see, all Pokemon will now spawn into this channel here, which I made specifically for that. So if you haven't, go ahead and, you know, make, make a channel that's just called Pokemon beforehand. If you haven't yet, then go ahead and do that and send them there. That'd be handy if you have mostly like say a Twitch or YouTube server, gaming server, and you just want to add the Poke2 bot for kind of some funsies on the side. As you can see, like this server here, then you just want like the Poke, the one Poke2 channel. You think that would be enough? Then that's great. And you probably just want to set it up just like that with the one channel. Say on the other side you have a server that's solely dedicated to Poke2 and you would like multiple channels to do spawns to give more people a chance just like this as you can see here. So then you would just type out the multiple channels like you see here and then it will spawn only in those specific channels. So this is nice if, yeah, if you have like mostly say a Poke2 server and you want to do something like this and throw that into your chat. And so now the Poke2 will only spawn, now the Pokemon only spawn in these channels there. It's handy if you have mostly a focused uh, like Poke2 server, you want probably something like that. Or again, on the other instance, if you have a gaming channel, you just want the one Poke2 channel, you would just do the one, you would just do the one command. Okay, another thing I want to mention is that once someone selects a Pokemon, uh, they'll start leveling up, which you get through chatting. And then occasionally you'll get these messages on your server like this. Congratulations, your Pokemon has leveled up. Uh, so there's no way to like really dedicate this to just one channel. So you'll see this throughout your server, which may not be a problem if you had mostly a Poke2 server. But say you have like again, like say your Twitch server and you don't want a bunch of level ups just spamming your other channels. There is a way to silence that you would go. So if you just want to stop that completely. You would hit P exclamation point server silence. And you would type that into your channel like so. So this will del so this will disable level up messages for the whole server. So those will no longer appear on your server at all, which would be handy if you just don't want that bop spamming uh, everywhere that Pokemon are leveled up, which is not a big a deal. Uh, if they really want to, they can check themselves. Um, but if you have a mostly a Poke2 server, then you probably just leave that, leave that on. But if not, that's how you turn that off. And one of the last things I want to mention, say if you're adding this to your server and not Evelyn's super familiar with the bot, I think it's a good idea to start off with like, you know, a nice intro letting people know what the bot is and how they get started playing. So say if you want to get some more traction in your server, get people playing, I think it's always good to kind of have like a quick starter guide here. So it gives them a few of the commands and let them know what's going on. Uh, you can add this to the start of the channel, then pin it. And hopefully people can check it out. So yeah, because if you're just adding this to like your own server and not everyone's familiar with the bot, I think it's good to give them like a good opening. Uh, so I'll have this copy and paste if, down below. If you want to go ahead and just add this exact thing to your own server, feel free. So yeah, I think just add this at the beginning of your channel and then you can pin it. Also say if you do want to change the prefix, you know how this one is just P exclamation point, and then you would put whatever you want to do next, say catch or check your profile, stuff like that. Uh, if you want to change the prefix, then you would just type out, you would just type out P exclamation point prefix and then whatever you would want it to be. So say in this instance, if you just want it to be a dot channel and there you go, change the prefix. So now it would just be like that. I like mine on the default, so I've just left it at that for my server. But just in case anyone else wanted to do that for their own, that's how you would do that. 
All right, so yeah, I really think that's the gist of it. It's pretty simple. Like I said, you first of all, be in your server, you want to set up the channel for where you want the Pokemon to go. You want a nice intro to let people know what's going on. Invite the bot to your server. I'll have a link in the description for the bot. You choose where you want to redirect the Pokemon spawns to go. And then optional, you could change the prefix and uh, level up the and silence the level ups if you care to. And from there, it's a uh, happy catching. Yeah, if you haven't yet, feel free to join Polywog's Palace, which you see here. This is my own uh, Poke2 server, so feel free to check it out. A link to this server will be down in the description below, so feel free to join. Come on by. A lot of fun going on over there. Pokemon spawns. You can hang out, do some trading if you care to. But mostly just chilling, catching some Pokemon, which can be a lot of fun. Uh, occasional giveaways and all good stuff. So yeah, feel free to join. Say hello. Uh, I'll be in there hanging out. Thanks a lot, everyone, for checking out the videos. Uh, if you have any questions, always check out the comments down below. Feel free. Uh, thanks, everyone, that checks out the video. Likes, subscribes, all that good stuff. And I'll see you at the next one. Hopefully, more Pokemon 2 videos and other stuff coming soon. All right. Goodbye. Love you all.